Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How is a Supreme Court Justice chosen? The process of selecting a Supreme Court Justice is outlined in the United States Constitution, specifically in Article 2, Section 2, Clause 2, known as the Appointments Clause. This clause states that the President shall nominate and by and with the advice and consent of the Senate shall appoint judges of the Supreme Court. Nomination by the President. The process begins with the President identifying a potential candidate for the Supreme Court. This involves consultation with various stakeholders, including Senate leaders and members of the Senate Judiciary Committee to discuss potential nominees and address any issues that may arise during the confirmation process. Vetting and background checks. Once a nominee is selected, the White House staff conducts thorough background research and prepares profiles of the candidate. This includes gathering information from sources such as the FBI to ensure the nominee's qualifications and integrity. Submission to the Senate. The president formally submits the nomination to the Senate. Following this, the nominee typically meets with senators to build support, and prepares for the upcoming confirmation hearings. Senate Judiciary Committee Review. The nomination is then referred to the Senate Judiciary Committee for review. This committee conducts a thorough examination of the nominee's background, including public hearings where the nominee and other witnesses are questioned about their qualifications, judicial philosophy, and views on constitutional issues. Committee Recommendation. After the hearings, the Senate Judiciary Committee votes on the nomination and sends its recommendation to the full Senate. This recommendation can be favorable, unfavorable, or with no recommendation. Full Senate debate and vote. The full Senate debates the nomination and a simple majority vote is required for confirmation. If there is a tie, the Vice President casts the deciding vote. Confirmation and appointment. If the nominee is confirmed by the Senate, the President signs and delivers a commission officially appointing the nominee to the Supreme Court. The appointee must then take two oaths, the constitutional oath and the judicial oath, before assuming the duties of the office. Oath Ceremony The oath ceremony is typically held at the White House or the Supreme Court building, marking the final step in the process of becoming a Supreme Court Justice. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.